So my case hasn't been drying for that long, but I recommend that you let it dry at least overnight. Um, especially with this weather condition, it's a little wet outside, so it's not drying as quickly as it could. Um, but I'm just going to show you how this process works. So I have my loop tool here, one of my smaller loop tools, the one with the more of a squared edge. You can use the one with the rounder edge too if you'd like, and you can also use your needle tool and this guy here that you have in your kit to remove the clay. You don't have to do this, you can leave it with just the clay as um, a good way to put a color on top of it so that it's like a very pure color versus the color on top of my other clay, which would be the brown clay. Um, would be a little different. It would be maybe a little bit more muddy um, because of the clay it becomes wax and it becomes clear in a sense slightly. And so with the clay underneath it does show through somewhat and change the color. Um, so this white, let's say if I'm working with the brown clay or darker clay, will make it so that everything on this um, part of the piece will be a little bit more pure color. Um, that, like, Think about painting on a black canvas versus painting on a white canvas. All right, so now I have this going on. I will say it is still a little too wet, but I'm still gonna work with it. As you can see, well, it's kind of hard to see for you guys, but as I touch it, it is kind of rubbing off a little bit and smearing. So what I would do next, if I do want to add any type of detail to it, I'm just gonna move this around so you can see it is I might go in there and I might remove that white to reveal the clay. I'm going to do it a little bit over here and then bring it back to you. So it's kind of getting there. Other things that I can do is I can use this tool over here and I can remove the clay as well. Right. Now I'm doing this upside down, but you can do it in any direction you want your pieces to look. I'm doing kind of like a little flower stem situation as I go. I might take away a little more. Each one of your tools is going to make a different mark. It's going to remove the clay in a different way. Right? And each one of the edges that you're using is going to have its own way of creating a texture or a relief on your piece, okay? Depending on which way you pull the clay up as you remove it. So I'm just kind of playing with my... You can also paint these on as if you were painting um, your underglazes if you'd like. But once these are fired, they're basically fired as if they are um, your regular clay. And you'll see the difference in the pieces on the shelf. You will see the white or the purple or the blue, whatever you add. My favorite thing is doing the sponging technique down here and then pulling it off. This creates really cool techniques and like patterns that you can create. Because you have that really earthy, natural application of the white slip or the fish sauce um, that we have here. Anyways, so I've kind of played with it a little bit. If you decide for some reason that you don't like this at all, you can take your loop tool, this bigger one that we have, and you can just start to really scrape it off, right? And remove it and then start over if you'd like with another color and like i said with the bottom if you'd like to put your initials in the bottom you can use any of your tools 
to just mark out your initial or your little logo that you add to your pieces. When these are drier, they do make um, easier lines as you go. It's hard to see. It's like a little heart that I like to put on the bottom of my pieces. But yeah, this is a, a fun way for you to finish your vessels um, and play with more color, play with a new layer of your clay um, when your clay is in its leather hard state um, and add some extra stuff then. It allows you to be able to carve into it so you can reveal the clay beneath it. Um, it allows you to have a different effect with your glaze when your glaze is over it. Um, all amazing uh, values of using slip. Um, of course, you are able to use your uh, glazing technique for these as well if you'd like of your choice. Um, but this is just an option. Thanks, guys.